What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Alt Knots. I am currently in Hastings, Minnesota for the second time in less than a week. It just can't be helped because there's been a new addition to the Hocus Pocus line at Muse 2320, and I just did not want to miss out. So I had to come here in person. You can order it online as well, but I figured, like, why not? Let's go. It's actually a really nice day out. So if Sarah isn't too busy, we might have a little chit chat. I know that I'm going to at least have to stop at Froth and Cork too, my favorite coffee place here, and see if they have some pumpkin spice. I officially have my full set of the Hocus Pocus kit from Muse 2320. This bag is freaking ridiculous. I'm gonna use it all day today. Like everything else, I had a couple of bags in here. No, this is the bag that I'm using. I need to get some caffeine though. We need to do that first. And obviously I had to snag some more yarn. This happens to be sock fingering weight. And since I am in the process of making so many socks, why not just go ahead and add this onto it. This is the starling sock fingering weight basically there's a little bit of shimmer in it some like actual glitter this color is called highlighter it is uv reactive so in the yarn dungeon it's gonna be perfect i think i have a little bit of black sock weight yarn left so for the cuff i think i'm gonna do black and the toe i'll do black but this is gonna be halloween extreme yes on to froth I felt this is the most perfect time to bust out my Danny card again. I haven't worn this yet this season, and especially since we're doing Hocus Pocus everything this month, figured now's the moment. I did not want to open up my candle when I was in the car. It still needed to travel. It was all wrapped up nicely in bubble wrap. It did have a safe trip. It did not break, and it is fabulous. This is everything that I did not know that I needed for Hocus Pocus season. I think I will light this tonight. I totally do want to light it when Hocus Pocus 2 comes out. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I don't burn candles that often. So if you have any idea, please let me know how many times you think I can actually light this throughout September and still have a little bit left for the Hocus Pocus movie. All I need is just for the movie. That's fine. If it's just a tiny little bit that's totally fine the bag is perfect and immediately all of my sock stuff is gonna go into here I have four different pairs of socks going right this second and then the stitch markers which I've already thrown into this baby cauldron it's actually a yarn bowl but it totally looks like a cauldron it's from knit picks I think. Yeah. Nitpicks. It came with my Swift and Yarn Winder. And it's wood. It's super lightweight. And it goes on theme. So it is going to be out. It'll probably be the yarn bowl that I use throughout the entire month. I don't know. But I have this one too that I want to have out. And I also have this one. We have options this month. I've taken them all off. They were on this little paper like you saw in Musa's store. I have mine on my cork board. Actually, I have two cork boards in the Yarn Dungeon. And I just have little push pins so when I'm not using them they hang up there they're safe they're not gonna get lost I mean stitch markers they're little you end up losing them all the time but here we have the very first one is a cat of course there has to be a cat in the hocus pocus next is the spell book and the spell book has the spider web and an adorable little spider on it last one is a potion bottle and a melted candle so I'm going to keep them in here for right now, safekeeping as I'm moving everything in the yarn dungeon so I don't lose them because I know in the morning I'm going to be like, where did I put them? Everything has changed. Everything has moved. I really should just put them on the cork board right now. I figured we'd change this up for September. I know it's right up to October and I'll be changing it once again for a brand new theme. But like, why not? It's the middle of the night. What else am I going to do? So what stays, what goes this 
one definitely needs new batteries. I didn't even realize that, but it is like dying. You can barely see any of the purple. It's supposed to be purple. What do we have? Double A batteries. I don't know if I have any of those. Tunisian crochet hooks. couple of different lanterns that I thought maybe I could put yarn into like hanks of yarn maybe some purples I have a lot of purples this one let's see I really like this color a lot I have some glittery ones I have some ones that are already caked up too though I think for putting it in the lantern I want to use the actual hanks also stopped at spirit Halloween <laughs> had to grab this it was just too perfect i adore the silhouette of the sanderson sisters and it lights up i'm not sure if it flickers like that all the time it's just like the little button on the side i guess we'll figure it out as soon as i pull this part out again batteries what do we need open double a all right, so I really will go downstairs now and grab some double A's. I just pull the rest of it out. Perfect. already witch themed since all of the hooks are in cauldrons I think I'm just gonna go through and maybe pick out my favorites like since these are very nightmare before Christmas maybe I'm gonna put some different stitch markers on them I went to Target real quick because I realized that I didn't have a wax warmer going and I like to have the caramel latte that's my favorite scent to get going for September 1st bring on the coziness found a couple of more things they actually had a fair amount of Halloween stuff in the dollar section and also in like where you first walk into Target on the right hand side when you're walking through. They're starting to put up the actual Halloween signs. So the back to school stuff is moving. The summer stuff is moving. There was a total Halloween sign up and a lot of stuff was witchy themed. Too perfect. The first thing is this tray or platter, whatever you want to call it. The handles are snakes just felt like it was given the witchy vibes. I like to use these because I have hardwood floor in every single room in my house. If I set down my frills crochet hook, I don't want it to roll. Like if it hits the floor, I'm gonna cry. So I have these project trays, but I didn't have a Halloween theme one. So I'll set my hook, my notions, like stitch markers, things like that, post-it notes, a pen, anything that I want or I'm gonna need within arm's reach of my project. This bowl was super cool. Please tell me that you come right off. Okay, still didn't come off very nicely. I'm gonna have to, now it's all sticky on the bottom. Perfect yarn bowl. The bottom is this killer spider. And this is like metal. Basically 100 grams, it seems like it's gonna fit. Did get my wax melts. There wasn't that many though. The caramel latte, there was only one. And it smells like caramel, espresso, and a little bit of butter. Just delightful. Also did have vanilla bourbon. These two together are so good. It says with notes of brown sugar and caramel. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't know if I have any other plans for this other than a yarn bowl. It's actually, I think it's a candy bowl. I'm pretty sure that's what it rang up as. Just says small, small. It is a little bit heavy, so it's probably not gonna travel from room to room with me, but yarn coffin goes perfectly with Hocus Pocus vibes. All right, that one comes in pieces, great. Oh no, we're gonna come up, yes. It says it's dishwasher safe too. I guess that makes sense. If you're planning to use it as an actual candy bowl, you can throw it in the dishwasher. There will probably only be yarn. Last thing that I got, I don't even remember. This is all, oh yeah, another skull. <laughs> This is technically a candle holder, so the eyes are cut out. 
I might put an LED candle in here, or I may just use it as a yarn bowl. This one is a lot lighter, obviously. Size difference, but it's definitely lighter. It is still ceramic though. Still think I could fit 100 grams of yarn in here. And I like that all three, like the eyes and the nose are cut out, so you can pull yarn through all three. So if I'm doing like color work or mosaic crochet, I can have three mini skeins in here. It is time to officially switch my Sam head over to a cauldron. This has been holding all my tags that I've used for the entire month and then I just kind of go through it if I want to. Obviously I've been using a lot. It is just like completely full. I think I'm just gonna save like some of my favorite like this. Okay this is the Sanderson sister sock trio from Muse. We're gonna just start it off put it right in there. I should have gotten a bigger cauldron. I really don't think <laughs> these this is not gonna be big enough. Means I'm gonna have to go through it a little more frequently this year. Probably right on the bottom. Actually, let's put some cobwebs on it. to not like any of the decorations that I was putting up. So I knew it was time for me to go to bed. I was like, just go to bed, dream about it. We'll come back, fresh eyes. This is literally all I have, like all of that moving around. And these are the two things that my brain was like, yeah, this looks good. One of which is my wax warmer, which is a permanent part of the yarn dungeon. So it doesn't even count. But today is officially September 1st. Spooktember has arrived, which means this needs to get done like now. I still have the entire yarn coffin left. This is just stuff that is here permanently. I don't know if I'm gonna actually change this up now. Since it's already the middle of the first day of September, we might just continue on with this decor. I decided, let's just call it inspiration. I was needing a little more of that. So I went to Home Goods to check out what they had, and they, of course, had some Hocus Pocus stuff. I'm really glad that I went because brand new mug, giant mug too. This one, I don't even know. Is it like 22? It's 25 ounces. All right, well that is the mug that I'm using today. And the fact, like this is one of my favorite parts in the Hocus Pocus movie. This is so heavy though. Great way to start off. Spooktember. I also did find some of these tea lights. I've been looking for these forever. I have a ton of tea lights that are white, like the base of it is white where it's black on here, and orange and purple, but I didn't have any that were black. The little band that goes around that skulls, nice touch. And there's 12 of them. I don't need 12. I think I officially needed like four, but I'm sure there's other things that I'll put out this year that needs these. And they all come with batteries too. It was $7, so sometimes it's good to wait. Let your brain think a little bit, I guess, when you're decorating and you live right next to a home goods. Or it's dangerous. Either way, you want to look at it.
choose which hooks I want to put up there. The pumpkin spice latte ones obviously had to go up. I think I'm gonna go with the ones that are kind of fall looking and or I feel like they're fall looking. So like we have the coffee and cream. Those are obviously going out. My Odyssey ones, the black Odyssey ones are going out because I use these all of the time. Pretty much they're out literally the entire year. The Corella ones, yes, we're gonna put those out too. Nothing screams Halloween like, do I have some? Yeah, I have a couple of them over here. These ones, yes, these have to go out. everything about the yarn dungeon now the hocus pocus sign a must have it pulls everything together obviously uh, last minute move of the skull head because there was just a lot of light focused over here so switch it up I'm sure I'm gonna do that all throughout the month honestly it's difficult for me to leave things alone I'm constantly changing things but for right now since it is the first day of spooktober I'm gonna leave it just enjoy the vibes and at least finish my apple spice latte but that is pretty much it for today so thank you for hanging out with me helping me bring on hocus pocus season I hope you had a fantastic time if you did don't forget to thumbs up this video I have so much decorating to do from here until October so if you love decorating with me I have plenty more to do for right now though that is it have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video mm -hmm.